So we were living in Pine Hills and I was just getting ready to start the thir- third grade. I was finishing second grade and I had been homeschooled up to this point. Um, and I was like, mom, I really want to go to public school. Like I was craving friends and I had some friends on the street that we'd played with a lot. Got some friends on the street. Yeah. So one of my <laughs> friends was named Jonathan. I had another friend named Kristen. She was like more my sister Melanie's friend cause she was a couple years older than me, but we played a lot too. And then there was a few other kids, Chad and, and there was a kid named big Mike and he was like this, <laughs> this bigger big he, Mike. He was also, he was like same age as me or the same name. So that's why I was like, I was little Mike. And uh, Big Mike. okay. Um, Kristen had a brother named Matthew. And cause I also had a brother named Matthew who's older. My brother, Matthew was big Matthew and he was little Matthew. <laughs> that's funny. So the, those are the big names. Big Matthew, little Matthew, little big, Matthew Mike, little big Mike, little Mike. Um, and then I remember a couple other kids in this, in the neighborhood named Chris and Quan, and they'd come over and they could do backflips. Florida they, name. They were really cool. <laughs> uh, but I was like, mom, I want to go to public school. Like, I really want to have friends. I was very like craving social interaction with other kids really bad. And I wanted it so bad. And so mom's like, okay, if you really want to go to public school, then I guess you can try it. You have to get good grades. You got to get up on your own. And the public school that I would go to was literally only like two blocks away. That's it was, nice. It was really nice because it was super close. Um, and so we registered for school and I got to go to public school for my first year. And I remember being so nervous. Really? I remember like actually having pain in my stomach on a regular basis. And I remember thinking I had ulcers and then I would get nervous that I was getting ulcers, even though nervousness can cause ulcers. So it was a self-fulfilling prophecy yes. of, of your ulcers. It was a downward spiral. Did you actually have ulcers or did you just think you did? I just thought I did. Yeah. I, I was kind of a paranoid uh, hypochondriac, oh, hypochondriac. <laughs> um, when I was a kid for sure. Even now, sometimes maybe I'm a little bit, I, I can feel those <laughs> tendencies coming back. He's like, I think I broke my toe. <laughs> like I get a headache and I'm like, I'm going to die. Gonna I guess die. that's the end of my life. Um, <laughs> he's a pretty healthy guy. So if anything's <laughs> wrong with him, he's like, 